Tomorrow, jury selection begins in the trial for Ed Buck, a well-known political activist and donor. He is accused of causing the overdose deaths of two men inside his apartment in West Hollywood. Now, our I-team has been following developments in this investigation since the very beginning. NBC4's Eric Leonard shows us what to expect at the trial. Justice is being served properly. This is a man we've called Joe Doe, whose name was withheld from initial court documents and who's on the Fed's list of witnesses who could testify this week. He told me in 2019 he survived a near overdose in Buck's apartment months after two men had already died there. It was his information that prosecutors say gave them the last bit of evidence needed to file the case. He said he was ready to take the witness stand. Be ready for whatever that they try to throw at me. Buck, seen here in a sketch at a previous appearance in federal court faces trial on allegations that he supplied methamphetamine to the two men who died, Jamel Moore in July 2017 and Timothy Dean in January 2019. Buck has pleaded not guilty. He'll be represented at the trial by former O.J. Simpson case prosecutor Chris Darden and attorney Ludlow Creary. Mr. Buck is accused. He is not convicted. Buck is also charged with supplying meth to three other men, including Joe Doe, and of allegedly enticing others to travel to his apartment with promises of cash and drugs. This time was different. Though. This man, Cody, is also on the witness list and told me in 2019 he survived an encounter inside Buck's apartment in which he says Buck wanted to inject him with drugs. He insisted that I watch him make the shots. Cody says he stopped answering Buck's messages and left town. Buck was arrested in September 2019 after Jamel Moore's mother and a sea of activists protested that the quick characterization of the men's deaths as accidental was rushed and ignored Buck's potential role. In this pre-trial memo, federal prosecutors say there's evidence Buck engaged in a pattern of party and play as far back as 2011, allegedly soliciting men to take drugs and perform sexual activities. The feds say Buck sometimes injected other men himself and say he targeted vulnerable individuals who were sometimes homeless or struggling with addiction. I just want Ed Buck and whoever's protecting him to know that we mean business. Just before Buck was arrested, Jamel Moore's mother, Letitia Nixon, told me she wouldn't give up until there was some justice for her son. I'm not taking the death of my son being lost uh, lightly. Now, Ms. Nixon there, her activism certainly played a major role in pushing for the re-examination of the case that eventually led to these charges. She's also a witness in the case because she found her son's diary that included some specific descriptions of the alleged events. Now, Buck's defense has challenged the integrity of some of the evidence at pretrial hearings and is expected to try to raise credibility questions about many of the witnesses. First up tomorrow, jury selection. Opening statements could not, uh, might not happen until Wednesday. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.